the sensing guidelines app can be customized to adjust a number of features within the tools and operation of the viewers. Within the tools, we can change things such as rounding, we can change our cost buttons, we can change the default relevant weekly income figures, and our default victim surcharge and criminal court costs. We can also make changes to how the viewers work within the application. So for example, we'll come back to look at this particular offence when we've adjusted the top toolbar. And within my documents, I can also change which viewer we use for, for bringing up any of these documents. So at the moment, that's using the standard internal viewer. We can change that to one of our preference. So to start making changes to our preferences in settings, we have to close down the Sensing Guidelines application. So to do this, we're just double clicking on the Home button that's located on the edge of the application and we're pushing off screen the Sensing Guidelines application. And that's the technique we can use for closing apps on the iPad. To get back to the iPad screen, tap the Home button once and then we go into Settings and we scroll down the left hand side to Sensing Guidelines. And there's a number of options which hopefully are fairly obvious. We can change how many recent items are displayed on the What's New page. We can highlight an index if it's been updated in the last few days. And the changes I'd like to make are to do with the fine calculator. In the event that the relevant weekly income is adjusted for employed and not employed, for example 450 and 100 for benefits, that will change the two buttons inside the application. If my local court changes its cost practice, charging 95 instead of 85 for a standard court hearing, I can make that change here. The second set of changes we're going to make is to automatically hide the toolbar when we're viewing an offence guideline. We can also adjust the transparency of that toolbar so we can actually see through it to the actual guideline itself. And finally, because I have some fairly complex documents in my own judicial archive, I'd like to use Adobe Reader or another application for viewing those documents. So having made those changes, I can go back and reopen Sensing Guidelines and we can just review some of those changes. So we started out, we were looking at the Fray Guideline and you can see the toolbar at the top is now quite translucent. And as soon as I tap inside the Offence Guideline, the top toolbar has disappeared. Therefore, to close and escape from this particular offence guideline, I just need to tap at the top of the page, tap the close button, and we're back to the standard application. Let's do that again for a different offence. We're inside an offence guideline. We tap on the page and we can start working through that guideline. When we're finished, we can tap the top of the page or the bottom and tap the close button. We also made some changes to the way documents are handled in my documents. And for any document I try and open here, it'll ask me which application I wish to use. We'll open in Adobe Reader. and I have a briefing note from my clerk clerkship. And to get back to Sensing Guidelines, I have to close Adobe Reader and just reopen Sensing Guidelines. 
and the final changes we made were to do with the fine calculator. We modified the relevant weekly income buttons from 100 and 450, so it should be 110 and 400. We modified a cost button to 95 pound. And that summarizes the changes we've made to sensing guidelines.